The EVOS Onstage Incubator is an environmental chamber designed specifically for the EVOS FL Auto Imaging System. It enables precise control of temperature, humidity, and three gases for time-lapse imaging of live cells under both physiological and non-physiological conditions like hypoxia. Environmental settings and image acquisition parameters are all seamlessly integrated into the EVOS FL Auto System interface, creating a high-performance inverted imaging system with flexibility, ease of use, and superb optical performance for demanding live cell time-lapse imaging experiments. This video will provide a step-by-step -step guide to connecting the on-stage incubator to your EVOS FL Auto System. Prior to starting, the following materials will be needed. A CO2 tank and compressed air with regulators. Cells for bright field or fluorescence microscopy. To begin, find the push-to-click fitting with one half inch thread provided with the incubator. Thread the connector into the regulator. Screw the PTC gas line connector into the regulator's quarter inch thread. Tighten on a regulator with wrench provided in packaging. Push tubing into the PTC gas line connector and pull back slightly to check for secure fit. Connect the power supply to the rear of the control unit and plug it into an outlet. Connect the incubator to the EVOS FL Auto system from the rear of the incubator to any open USB port on the computer base. Connect the data cord to the on-stage incubator. Place the incubator chamber on the on-stage incubator master plate and secure it in place using the four 2mm hex screws. Attach the vessel holder or adapter to the incubator chamber using the four thumb screws. Place the heated glass lid with the no-fog glass window on the incubator chamber. The light shield cover completely blocks any ambient light from entering the environmental chamber and improves image quality and fluorescence imaging applications. Remove any stage adapter currently on your EVOS FL Auto system and replace it with an on-stage incubator adapter. Secure the on-stage incubator master plate to the XY stage using the four thumb screws. Connect the data cord and tubing to the on-stage incubator adapter. Next, open the incubator and remove the water reservoir tank. Fill the reservoir with water until it reaches the max fill line. Place the reservoir with the holes in the front, then close the lid. Place the incubator hose onto the control unit, then connect the black sensor to the incubator hose. When turning on the unit for the first time, place an empty plate on the unit until it reaches the appropriate temperature. This will prevent condensation and improve performance. Place the cover on the incubator using the magnets to guide and hold the cover in place. If you are using a premix gas tank of compressed air and 5% CO2, connect the tubing to the air intake. Next, turn on the system in the following order. First, the base unit of the EVOS FL Auto System. Second, the on-stage incubator control unit. And finally, the EVOS FL Auto software from the computer. Go to the Settings tab to open Configure Gas Connections. Turn on the regulators for the gas tanks. Adjust the flow to 5 for CO2 and 30 to 40 for compressed air. Under the Time Lapse tab, select Incubate, then Enable Environmental Chamber. Adjust the desired temperature, humidity, and CO2 percentage. If you are using a premixed tank, do not select CO2. The system typically takes 10 to 15 minutes to reach desired levels. You are then ready to add your cells for imaging.